Hi. Question number six. A small aeroplane has 14 seats for passengers. The seats are arranged in four rows of three seats and a back row of two seats. Twelve passengers board the aeroplane. First part, how many possible ways of possible seating arrangements are there for the twelve passengers? Give your answer correct to three significant figures. Second part, these twelve passengers consist of two married couples, Mr. and Mrs. Lane, Mr. and Mrs. Brown, five students and three business people. The three business people sit in the front row, the five students each sit at a window seat, Mr. and Mrs. Lane sit in the same row on the same side of the aisle, and the same goes for Mr. and Mrs. Brown who also sit in the same row on the same side of the, of the aisle, in another row, in, in other words. How many possible seating arrangements are there? And for the third part also, um, if instead the 12 passengers are seated randomly, find the probability that Ms. Mrs. Lynn's, Mrs. Lynn sits directly behind a student and Mrs. Mrs. Brown sits in the front row. Okay, for the first part there's no restriction. We have 14 seats and 12 passengers. Therefore, we're going to be permuting 12 out of 14. So, 14, permit 12, 4.3589 and so on, times 10 to the power of 10. Three significant figures, that's going to be 4.36 times 10 to the power of 10. Here we are, first part. Second part, the three business people sit in the front. So let us say one, two, three. That's uh, then, for the second part, we have three factorial ways for the three business people, which is then, uh, check it out in the calculator, that's going to give you 10, a uh, 6. All right, there we are. And then Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Lane sit in a row. Let us say this is Mr. Lane or Mrs. Lane, Mr. Brown, Mrs. Brown. Same row on the same side of the aisle. There are one, two, three rows that these two couples can take, and they're taking two rows out, out of three. So we're going to be permuting two out of three times. How many ways can each of these couples arrange themselves amongst themselves? Mr. and Mrs. Lane? Mrs. Lane can go here. Mr. Lane can come here. Or the other, the other way around. The same goes for this. So we have two ways here, two ways here. So times two, times two. And uh, that's going to give us... Uh, Twenty-four. Also, the five students they can sit now in one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So five students are going to be five factorial ways. Or maybe you can do it like, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So five, four, three, two, one. And five, five factorial. And if you work it out in your calculator, it's going to give you 120. So how many ways can these arrange themselves? I got 6 times 24 times 120, and that's going to give you 17,280. So let me just check it out. Yeah, so that's good. Now, for the third part, Mrs. Um, Lynn sits directly behind a student. So sorry about that, there's nothing here. If and, and Mrs. Brown is in the front, okay? The 12 passengers are seated randomly, and Mrs. Lynn sits directly behind a student. Mrs. Brown sits in the front, front row. If Mrs. Brown is here, maybe we can have a student here and then Lynn, or a student here and then Lynn. So that's a student, Lynn, student, and Lynn. And that's going to be two ways Mrs. Lynn can sit behind a student here. Then we can have a student, we can have Lynn, we can have another student and then Lynn, we can have another student and then Lynn, we can have another student and then Lynn. So how many ways? Student Lynn 1, student Lynn 2, student Lynn 3, student Lynn 4. The same goes for this, for 10 ways, 10 possible ways. That's the first scenario. What about the second scenario? Maybe if Mrs. Brown was here, we can have a student and Mrs. Lynn, a student and Mrs. Lynn, a student and Mrs. Lynn. So student lane, student lane, student lane, that three ways. And here um, I'm going to have a student and Mrs. Lane, a student and Mrs. Lane, a student and Mrs. Lane. So three ways again. And for this one we're going to have four. Student lane, student lane, student lane, student lane, four. So ten ways. No need for us to do this one. If Mrs. Brown was here, then it would give you uh, three here. Uh, Mrs. Brown, three. It would give you three there and four there. It's going to make it ten.
the three scenarios is telling us that wherever Mrs. Brown sits in the front, Mrs. Lynn will end up ten ways of sitting directly behind a student. Therefore, Mrs. Brown can be here, she can be here, she can be here. She has three dif different ways she can sit herself in the front row. So for Mrs. Brown, all right, she has three different ways, okay, that she can sit in the front row. And for Mrs. Lynn, she has ten different ways of doing this. Now, what about the um, three business people? The three business people are already seated in three of the seats. Therefore, we had 14 seats, so we minus three, we're left with 11 seats. And we have 12 passengers minus three, we're left with nine passengers. So these are the nine passengers that include Mr. and Mrs. Lane, Mr. and Mrs. Brown, and the five students. They can arrange themselves um, nine, uh, I mean, nine permuted, uh, nine permute out of eleven. So how many ways are three, nine, that's three, ten, and this. The probability that Mrs. Lynn will sit directly behind a student is going to be all these, three times ten times eleven p nine, divided by the total from the first part of the answer, that is. 14p12. So let's work this out in our calculator. And we got 3 times 10 times 11p9 and divide this by um, 14p12. Okay. So 3 times Mrs. Brown has got three ways of doing that. Okay, and uh, it's all right. So Mrs. Brown, mm, yeah, it's going to be here, here, here. Three times ten times. Oh, the five students. Okay, five different ways. You have five students, and times eleven p um, nine. So all of that divide by fourteen p twelve. Yeah. So the five. I I missed out on the five students. So five students can sit them sit themselves in five different seats. Right. Okay. So there we are. So we're going to multiply by 5, and then, so that's going to give us, and then you divide by this, so the answer should then be 0 decimal, as given the capital here, 0686, 0 decimal 0686, 0 decimal 0687 to 3 significant figures. And here we are for this question. It's taken from October 2010. A level maths, HSC, P, uh, S1.